Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add repeat signs as well as first and second endings to the music that you are creating in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you'll have MuseScore open. And there are several ways to add repeats and repeat signs uh, to the music that you're working on. Uh, the first place it can be found on the left hand side of the screen in the palettes. And it's under the palette named repeats and jumps. So you will click on the triangle to expand that. And so they have several different kinds of repeats uh, that you can use here. So let's say we wanted to repeat the last bar. You can just click on that, drag and drop. Um, another way again to use uh, the palettes is to just have a uh, measure selected and then click on the, the repeat that you would like and then that will add it. So both of those will work. So now the first repeat sign that we added here for the last measure, that repeat sign uh, will be reflected in the playback. So whenever you hit the playback button, it will uh, ref use that repeat sign as it is. If you use uh, the Sanyo, it does not reflect in the in the playback. So if let's say I put the Sanyo there, uh, the playback will go straight through that. So uh, just uh, one thing to keep in mind whenever you are um, doing some, doing your repeats. Now let's say uh, I don't want to have that repeat anymore. I could hit delete. Um, however, now the um, measure is blank. So I'm going to do Control Z and then Control Z to get back to where I was. So Control Z is undo. Okay, so those are a couple of repeats. Now let's say you're working with um, endings. So you have these repeat signs at the ending. So if I take this and just click on it, it will uh, go where I, I have the measure selected. So you can see it, it repeated that measure. So what I want to do is I want to add that to um, the second to last measure because I want to add some endings. So I'm going to take this, drag it to the second to last measure, and now it's added a repeat sign at the end of that measure. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to make this a first ending. So we've got the repeats done. Now we need to find how to um, uh, do the first endings. Again, if you need to delete uh, what you have worked on there, you just uh, select it and click and hit uh, click on delete. So so again, select and then um, enter delete. So um, let's say that uh, I, I have my repeat there and I want to add an ending. So the endings are found in a different place. And so you're going to find those in, I believe it's lines. Yep. So now you're looking at uh, the palette for lines. And you'll see we've got a one right here. So we've got a first ending. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and drag it to the measure that I want. It'll go to a certain measure. See how it has a, connect, uh, a purple line that's connecting it to a measure. So um, I'm going to want it to be right here. That's where it's going to start. So wherever that line connects, that's the start of the ending. So now it's got the ending there and I've got a first ending. And again, this uh, repeat sign here that's listed at the ending will be reflected in the playback. And then so let's say I want to add a second ending. We'll take the uh, second ending here. Now I'm going to have an open second ending because it will continue after this. And I'm going to click on it, drag and drop it where I would like to uh, right there. So now I've got an open ending. And uh, let's say I wanted to add a couple more measures. I could control B will add a measure at the end or append. You could also go up to uh, the top left and go add measures, append one measure that will add one at the end. And then there's also um, inserting measures where you need them. So now I've got um, a, a second ending that has more than one measure. So again, uh, the first place you want to look for repeats are in the repeats and jumps. And um, then for the endings, the first and second endings, you'll look in lines. Uh, another place that you can find ending or repeat signs is in bar lines. So you can look in bar lines and they have like, uh, here's one uh, right and left repeat and you can drag and drop that. So it'll repeat on both sides. You now know how to add repeat signs as well as first and second endings to the music you are creating with MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section below. I also have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I'll put the links on this video. If you enjoy this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you and I will see you in the next video.